Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for February 4th. This is for whoever, whenever. It may or may not resonate. Take what resonates and just leave the rest. We're just going to see what gets up, what comes up. I'm having a really hard time speaking today, so just bear with me. Just tonight. Today was fine. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, we're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of these. And then we're going to go with this. What do we got for February 4th? February 4th, overall energy. Oh, intuition. This is the High Priestess. This is an inner knowing. Trust your intuition at this time. You know, it's like you're seeing a situation clearly, but you may not be revealing what you know. Maybe you know something, but you're keeping it to yourself at this time. Or maybe you know something, but you're unsure. Let go. Let go of those thoughts that you're unsure because you're right. Your intuition is right. Pay attention. Now we're going to get one of these. You know something. It's like, and you know it. You know it. Don't deny what you know deep down. Action. Yes, it is time to take action. It's time to go after what you want. And somebody may be uh, right in sight, put it that way. And maybe, maybe you are dealing with somebody that's a little bit different than you. But there's a strong pull towards this person for some reason. Now this signal, this signals, uh, go ahead, go ahead, follow your intuition, just go for it. February 4th. It's a day of action. It's a day of following your intuition. That's what it is about. It is a four day, after all. Now, fours are about universal protection and universal guidance. Fours are an angel number. It's like you're being guided from above. You're on the right path. Keep going. Don't delay. Use that inner wisdom as a tool. Whatever your intuition is telling you to do, do it. Just do it. Don't hold back. Wonderful. Wonderful. So, we got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's not grounded, you know, with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. It's like they're not finding the discipline to complete a task or they're not, you know, nurturing themselves like they need to. Um, somebody may be focused on everything but love. You know, I'm just burying myself in my work. I'm burying myself in my job. I'm not really focused on anything but stability. And there's some insecurities here. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is somebody who is insecure.
And now somebody has to make some sort of decision. You know, to step out of their fantasy, to step out of their illusion, their confusion. And be practical. Somebody hasn't been being practical. The Queen of Pentacles reverse, not practical. Mm. Needing to make a conscious change. Somebody needs to make a conscious change in their life. They need to drop something that has been weighing them down. It's almost like somebody has been living in fantasy land. And now they need to come back to reality. You know, there's a lot of inner conflict here. A lot of back and forth. And that this is action. This is basically the same card. It's time to take action. It's time to get real. It's time to stop playing games. And it's time to stop holding on to things that are weighing you down. You have to make that decision to drop things that don't serve you. You need to stop playing games. It's time to get real. It's time to get real. Now, we also could have somebody that is heading very quickly towards this person. Maybe somebody has decided they've come to some sort of realization that, you know, they, they threw away a stable opportunity. Because, I mean, she does have the golden opportunity. And, you know, somebody could be seeing that, you know, they were being petty or they were causing drama in a situation. Somebody may be heading towards this person, whoever this person is, that is insecure because this person is insecure. Maybe this, maybe, maybe this, this person that is taking action, I mean, this could be you, this could, somebody is taking action to deal with conflict. They're making a decision to, you know, be responsible. It's like they want to hold on. They want to hold on to something. I mean, here we have this pentacles again. It's like I want to hold on to this stable opportunity. I want to hang on to this stability. I want to keep it. I don't want it to fall away. And it's like up here, I mean, this person is like no longer invested. It's like she's probably... Uh, Well, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, she's probably upset. She's probably no longer invested. I mean, when she's in reverse, she's 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 gone cold. Okay. Um I know who she is. Um in reverse, she's she's probably, you know, stubborn. She's upset. She's a bull. She's um a bull or a go. I mean, she's got horns. I mean, in reverse, watch out. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I mean, watch out. I mean, when she gives up, when she gives up, it's it's over. So I think this person probably, somebody is taking action to, it's almost like fight for, compete. To compete for this opportunity that they didn't see as secure, but now they want to hold on to it. It's like, no, 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 I want this opportunity. Oh, my God. Ooh. It's funny. I knew this card was going to come up. I did, too. 
when I picked up this deck to use, I knew this card was going to come up. Ooh! Somebody's been waiting for an arrival, and they've been getting prepared for it, and here it is. It's here. The arrival is here. It's like somebody is no longer hiding in it. It's like the truth is coming out, okay? The, with this, it's like the truth is being revealed. The truth is here. The truth is out. It's like the truth can no longer be hidden. We have somebody here that is very abundant, somebody that is doing quite well. Just enjoying life. I mean, somebody has made a conscious change to just focus on themselves, to build themselves back up, to, you know, drop things that no longer serve them. And now we have somebody that is waking up and wanting a piece of it, wanting to hold on to it. Now this three of swords, that's hurt, pain. Somebody is hurting. Somebody is hurting over a poor decision that they made. They are. Yeah. Yeah, somebody is feeling pain, you know, over over some sort of illusion that they were living. It's like all of a sudden, you know, they get this intuitive nudge or they get the, they go, get this revelation that they need to take action because somebody is no longer invested in playing their game. Maybe this person realizes that they've been they've been the player, you know, they've been in they've been playing the game. You know, and it's like now now they see that because they are. It's like they're coming out of hiding. It's like they're seeing the truth about a person's abundance, about a person's worth. Because this is the single woman who knows her worth. She will not settle for games. And it's like all of a sudden we have somebody swooping in. And this is a man or a woman, by the way. This energy is. Somebody is swooping in. And they're taking action. Somebody is about to take action before this opportunity is gone. Now, this person up here has issues. Insecurity issues. They're very insecure with who they are. And I feel like somebody is, is, is waking up. And they're realizing, you know, nobody's perfect. Nobody is perfect. Everybody has their issues. And it's like now somebody is, is seeing, they're seeing that, the truth, okay? They're seeing the truth of a situation. That, that, this, that this scenario really is abundant. It really is um, beautiful. It really is. It's like... I mean, if you notice, all the all the fruit is ready to be picked. It's like it's it's the time is right now. The time is right now to make a conscious change and take action. Because this really is a big opportunity. So I feel like we have somebody here that is is really feeling some pain over making a bad decision. Okay. And now they want to hold on to it. Now they want to keep it. They realize that it was a stable opportunity and that they didn't appreciate what they had. That's what it looks like to me. I feel like um, we have somebody here that has been waiting. Somebody has been waiting for this arrival. They've been really hoping and praying for the, for somebody to... come and get them you know that's what it looks like to me I see I see like somebody has been they've been they've been waiting I've been working on myself I've been making conscious changes I've I've been um, working on you know who I am and and now you know I've changed I've changed okay this is cha somebody has changed
and it feels like somebody is is now seeing it somebody is is realizing that they have competition somebody has competition let's get some more cards Yep, somebody has made a bad decision to leave somebody out in the cold, and now they want to hold on to it. I mean, this person was very helpful. This person, you know, led this person, you know, to a safe place. Took care of them. Didn't give up. And... Now it's like I gotta fight for this. I gotta fight for this. I need to go after what's mine. I need to defend my turf. Somebody is taking action to 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 defend and hold on to something that to somebody that took care of them. That's what it looks like to me. I mean, I don't know who this is for, but um. wish fulfillment this is a dream come true this is this is like prayers being answered here it's like somebody's prayers are being answered because somebody is realizing that they need to take action to you know follow their dreams they need to take action to bring stability back to their life somebody has decided to really get real we have a soulmate connection here. When you get the king and queen of the same suit, it means there's a soulmate connection here. Could be with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be with an Aquarius. Could be with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It really could be with anybody, but it looks to me as though somebody is realizing a person's worth because that person found their own abundance, you know? And now somebody is going to put up a fight to regain, to prove themselves. Somebody has made a poor decision. And now they're hurting because... something has been dropped. I think somebody is hurting because somebody else has found their abundance without them. You know? It's like I'm good on my own and now we have somebody here that that wants to fight for you. You know what I mean? I mean, this is like, that's what this is. Somebody all of a sudden wants to fight for this person who is doing quite well on their own. And it's because they realize that they have competition. This is competition. And we have Pisces here too. Did I say that? I think I did. Anyway, we have Pisces. We have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius. I already said I'm not going to go over them again. But anyway, um, we have a very abundant person who is just enjoying life, doing really, really, really good. Defending themselves, um, you know, really on top of the world. We have somebody that is really doing quite well. And we have this other person who is thinking, you know, this is what I want. This is what I. This is what I want. This is this is a blessing. This is this is it. I and mean, this is a card of hope. A star card is a card of hope. And it's like, and this is like I said, prayers. You know, the answer to your prayers. So it's like. Somebody is realizing this is the answer. This is it. This is the one that I want. And I have to take action to go get it. I'm going to have to face my own insecurities. And I'm going to, and it's like realizing that, you know, this is stable. This is secure. This is the best opportunity I can get. So I feel like somebody is definitely going to take action and follow their intuition right towards wish fulfillment, right towards happiness. 
and it's been long awaited. It's like some whoever's on the other end's been waiting for this arrival. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. You know that kind of energy. It's like somebody has been waiting for this to come out. I've been waiting for this to be revealed. I've been waiting for this arrival. And now this person is like coming in quick. And it could lead to love. So we have a partnership that is coming about because somebody is taking action to, they're following their intuition. And it's leading them towards, towards love, okay? A union. That is kind of, it looks to me like it's, it's what you've been waiting for. It's a true blessing. Somebody is realizing that with the moon reverse. It's like they're, it's like I can't hide my true feelings anymore. I can't hide the truth. It's like all of a sudden there's a, there's some sort of shift where somebody is deciding that I got to fight for this. Because they, they're not finding wish fulfillment elsewhere. It's like, i got to step out of my ego. i got to step out of my pride to... Be happy. You know, I'm going to have to face this pain. I'm going to have to face this... Fear of rejection. We have a new passionate beginning here. It's like all of a sudden somebody decides to take a new approach. They get this new idea. They get this new vision. You know, it's like all of a sudden it's like, boom. This is what I want. We have a new partnership here. We have a new beginning here with two people that it looks to me like they're being divinely guided to be brought together. It's like, all of a sudden, this is the hand of God, right? God says, here's your opportunity. Do you want it? Here's your opportunity for love. Okay? All of a sudden, somebody sees the light. All of a sudden, somebody gets this, this, new, this vision that, I got to go get this. I got to go. I got to go get it. I mean, that's what this is. Somebody is taking action to go after something that may be getting away. You know, maybe it's starting to get out of sight. It's starting to get out, go away. And they, they may be like, you know, I got to go get this before it's actually gone. So I do feel like somebody is taking action today in regards to love. You know, they're ready to, you know, follow their dreams. It's like they got this renewed hope that this partnership, the one that they've been thinking about, the one that they've been praying for is, can work. It's like this renewed hope, okay? It's like somebody has matured. Through struggle. You know, it's like they've been overburdened and overwhelmed with not following their intuition. With hiding the truth. And they've gotten to the point where they can't hide it anymore. I can't. It's, it's boiling over. And it's like now God, this is the hand of God saying, hey, just, just do it. Just go ahead. Follow your intuition. It will lead you right towards love. So somebody is taking action. That's what today is about. Somebody may receive some sort of um, new offer from somebody that says, you know, you're the one that I want. You're the one that I want. When I said that, it reminded me of that song by Greece. You know, you're the one that I want. That's funny. This is a union that it truly is, you know, a blessing. It's sent from above. It really is. 
It's a true blessing. And somebody is going to take action. And probably make a really big offer. Somebody could be making a really big offer. I mean, this is this this guy has something in his hand. This is something that you can touch. They may be coming with a gift. It looks to me like somebody is going to fight for this independent woman or this independent person. Because they're seeing that this is what I want. I don't know who this is for. I don't. But we are going. To... There goes my rings. Hip, hip, hooray. There goes my rings. All right. Big mess. I'm going to take what's flipped over. You can't make this shit up. There goes my rings. Remember I said he's got something in his hand? This is like a size 8, in case anybody wants to know. <laughs> anyway, um, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Perhaps with your partner. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Absolutely. This could be the same one. It's where your life starts over. It's where you start on a new journey. I mean, it could be. It's like where the love is renewed. This could be somebody brand new. Brand new. Ooh, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And one more. Beautiful. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And I think that's what's going on here. I think that somebody is releasing their ex. And they have this new love connection. And perhaps their ex is watching. I mean, for some of you, that is the case. Some of you are dropping the burden of the ex and moving into a new love soulmate connection with somebody else. And it could lead to marriage. These people look like they just got married. So I feel like there's a new love connection here that could lead to marriage. Whether it is with your ex or with somebody new. There's a love connection here that can lead to marriage. There is no doubt about it. It's funny that my rings fell over. For some of you, it's the ex that is taking action. So you've got to see where the cards lay in. It's like what you've been praying for. You've been trying to release and, and you can't because it's a soulmate connection for some of you. You can't release because it's a soulmate connection. And now there's this new opportunity because this person sees it. For some of you, that is the case. I'm not going to pretend that it's not. For some of you, it's brand new love. And for some of you, it's new love with this person. I'm sorry to say some of you don't want to hear that, but that is what this is. For some of you, it's a new love soulmate connection that could lead to marriage. But I have to tell you that whoever you're de dealing with has insecurities and they need to be nurtured for it to work. This is something that you can hold on to. It is something that can last I feel like today somebody is going to take action to go after. They're going to follow their intuition. And when they do follow their intuition, if you follow your intuition, it will lead you towards your soulmate. And that's what I have.